Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I am doing two videos. In fact, I am doing a stocking stuffers guide for kids. I'm going to do one video for the girls and one video for the boys. So this is going to be the girls version of this video. So if you have a little boy that you're purchasing for, I recommend hopping over to the boys version of the video after you've seen this one. Those of you that are new, my daughter Taylor is eight. She's about eight and a half. I do feel like this particular stocking would work for kids um, between the ages of about six and probably even up to 12. I'm going to jump straight into it because I always chat for too long if I don't. So both my kids have matching stockings. It's this one. It's from Target years ago. Um, I haven't seen anything too similar this year, but um, I just wanted to show you sort of the size that I'm working with. I don't know if all of this is going to fit in here, so it might end up being that some of these gifts get wrapped. So first thing that I always get my kids is a toothbrush and toothpaste. I'm um, not sure why I do this, but it's just something that I've always done and the kids actually love it and look forward to getting their toothbrush and toothpaste um, each year. This year, Taylor ended up with a pink Oral-B brush um, and then she just got the Colgate toothpaste, nothing fancy, but just something that they always look forward to. I always get them a pack of socks. So this year, Taylor is getting this cute little pack that I got from Target and these are crew socks, so they come up a little bit higher. She wears... Um, cute little white sneakers a lot and I thought they would look really cute with that. And I also grabbed these little socks. They have pineapples on them. She loves pineapples. When I saw these, I had to just grab them. They were from H&M. I also always get the kids a pack of underwear. I got these ones from Target. I thought the colors are really cute. And then Taylor always gets hair lackeys as well. So I like to keep things quite practical <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. Um, and then these hair lackeys were from big W. Um, and again, I just like the colors and I like this uh, style of hair elastic. I thought about getting those ones that are like the little spirals, but I just don't know if they would work for her or if she'd like them. I went with the tried and true regular elastics for this one. I got both of the kids a pack of batteries and this pack is really cool. This is from Target um, and it's just their home brand range, um, but they come with both double A and triple A batteries. I saw a post on Facebook the other day, you know, sarcastically suggesting batteries as a Christmas gift and that the kids would hate you and blah, blah, blah. But I gave Taylor batteries for her birthday this year, like wrapped up. And honestly, it was the thing she was most excited about. So I thought I'd do it again uh, for their Christmas stockings. I think it's just, you know, they see the opportunity in a pack of batteries. <laughs> so I really recommend doing that. And onto the slightly more fun things. Um, I grabbed all these bits and pieces from Target. Um, I got a bath bomb for Taylor. It is a cute little rainbow one. I got her a hair turban because, um, because why? It's to dry, to dry her hair. <laughs> um, thought that one was quite cute. I hope it's big enough. I don't know. One size. We'll see. Um, and then I also got her a shower cap as well. She's obviously showering herself at this point and sometimes she doesn't want to wash her hair and she finds it quite difficult to shower without getting her hair wet. So I thought it was time for a nice quality shower cap. We have some cheapy ones, but they don't really do the job very well. She also got a cute new drink bottle from Target. I love this. Look at the colors. I just think that's really a really cute color palette. And then they also had this print down here um, in the lunchbox bags things. I'm not gonna give them the lunchboxes for Christmas this year, but I might end up going back and getting that to match. I think I didn't like the actual, it had two zippered compartments, which I prefer one compartment. So we'll, we'll go back and have a look later on. Um, I also have this drink bottle that I've had for about, I think since Easter. Um, I never ended up giving her because I found, I find that this particular nozzle is quite good for her and having the strap and everything. Um, but I might, I'm going to have this one set aside for her so that when she inevitably breaks that one or like the print comes off, I'm going to give her this one as well. So this one is cute. It's from Smiggle. It is like a Paris theme. So you can see all the little Parisy things. And she looks like got the Moulin Rouge. How cute. Um, She's obsessed with the Eiffel Tower, so I thought she'd really like this. I probably, I don't know. One of them will go in her stocking. I got her a pack of the Faber-Castell connector pads. 
Um, and I grabbed this pack because she's already got a whole heap of them, but this had like the pastel range, um, which she doesn't have these already. So I thought that would be really good to add to her collection. Just felt like it would broaden her opportunities for her artwork. <laughs> got her a couple of activity books. I got her the Barbie Mega Puzzle Fun. So this has got heaps of mazes and word sleuths, Sudoku, all kinds of cute things um, for her age range. And I actually bought this book twice. Like I bought it a few months, like a month or so ago. And then when I was in Target the other day, I bought it again, like forgetting that I'd already purchased it so someone else might be getting one of these as well and then the other one I got is an lol themed coloring book it comes with like these cute little puffy stickers and then it is an actual coloring book she's informed me recently that she doesn't like sticker books anymore she thinks they're too boring so I hope she is not offended by the stickers on the front of this one but I figured she could put the, these on her um like her scrapbooks and stationery for school next year if she wants to. She's still really big into the LOLs. And then sticking with her pineapple theme, I found this cute pencil case from Target. It obviously has um, pineapples on it and it's that, um, I can't think of what you call the fabric, like neo, neoprene, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm butchering it, but you know, like that wetsuit kind of fabric um, and a really nice big size. So that'll be great for all her school supplies and next year, starting year four next year, which I can't believe, like that's so, so grown up. And then she asked for the Hamilton CD. She's obsessed with Hamilton. She performed a Hamilton song last year at her singing class. So ever since then, she's just loved it. Um, so I got this one. It's like a two disc pack and she has a CD player in her room. So she'll get to rock out to as much Hamilton as she likes. And then I also got her the Lennon Stella CD. Uh, this is one of our favorite albums. I listen to it on, you know, through my iPod on Bluetooth speakers all the time. Um, but she recently informed me that it's her favorite album. She actually said she might like it more than Taylor Swift, which I was surprised. So I got it for her to listen to in her room whenever she likes as well. It's a really good album if you haven't listened to it. Lennon Stella, I think it's called 321. Love it. And I got her a bunch of books. So she's got one, two, three, four, five, six books um, in total. She asked on her Christmas list, she had um, a million books as one of her items. So I've got her six. So I hope that's enough. Uh, but the one I'm going to put in her stocking only because it's like the smallest, the narrowest one is the Ella at Eden musical mystery book. I didn't realize when I bought the first one for her. I think this might be the third. This is a sequel series to the Ella and Olivia books or the Ella Diaries. You might be familiar with those. So it's really cute because she started reading the Ella Olivia Ella and Olivia books back, you know, years ago. And then she moved on to the Ella Diaries, which was slightly more grown up. And now she's on to Ella at Eden. So again, a little bit more grown up. It's about Ella going to boarding school. And the fact that this particular theme in the book is musicals um, is really cute because Taylor loves musicals and Broadway and that kind of thing. So very excited for her to receive that. And then lastly, I've just put in a pack of lint teddy bears. It's quite unfortunate because I did leave these in the car and they kind of squashed. The chocolate will still taste good, I'm sure. So that is everything that my daughter is receiving in her stocking this year. I would love to hear what you guys are gifting to your daughters down in the comments below. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did like this video. If you're shopping for a little boy this year, I also have a stocking stuffers video aimed at little boys. So I'll leave that link in the info bar below and I'll also have a card up the top here for you to click. So that is everything from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.